Hello everyone, and welcome to another 13 Ghosts video art time lapse discussing today the Pilgrimettes. Sign number seven from the Dark Zodiac of the movie 13 Ghosts from 2001. Following this series, you know their 20th anniversary is coming up in 2021. If you're new here, welcome. So today is going to be about the Pilgrimettes. We're going to start off with some facts. First of all, the Pilgrimess in life was known as Isabella Smith. She did die in 1675. In the movie, when the Pilgrimess is in her containment cube, you'll notice that there are cobwebs and dead leaves everywhere. The sound she makes when she is near is a distant wailing. In the original script, the Pilgrimess was called the Buried Lady, and I really like the Pilgrimess over the Buried Lady. It rolls off the tongue better. Since she is from 1675, she is the oldest ghost among the Dark Zodiac ghosts. And she is the only one that does not have a Latin inscription, so we can't translate that today. Her ghost file is represented by a holy Bible that just so happens to be damaged which is interesting because we don't know if she is a witch or not a witch. And you're gonna know more about that in just a moment as we're going into the notes, the story from Cyrus Criticos. Miss Isabella Smith was my choice for the Pilgrimettes. Her story began in 1675 when the orphan Isabella journeyed from England in hope of finding a comfortable home in a quaint New England town. But problems began soon after she arrived. The tight-knit townsfolk didn't trust outsiders. When their livestock started to die mysteriously, the town's preacher accused Isabella of witchcraft. She denied the claim, but the town quickly turned against her. As more livestock fell ill, the preacher acquired a mysterious illness. The town rallied into a frenzy, cornering Isabella in a farm town, which they lit on fire. But moments later, Isabella miraculously crawled out, still alive and without a single burn upon her skin. The astounded town folk sentenced her to a slow death in the stock. There she stayed for weeks, while children stoned her, women cursed her, and men spat on her. The humiliation proved worse than the pain. Finally, Isabella succumbed to starvation. Whether or not she was a witch, I can't say, but her powerful anguish served my needs well. Serious Criticos. I love the design. I love most of these designs. I don't actually, I don't think I hate any of these designs. I love the decay they put on her face. I love that her eyes have the white contacts where you only see the pupils. It adds a lot to this character. I appreciate that they have her in the stocks still since that's where she died and that's where a lot of her anguish came from. It really pinpoints what made her, as we've heard from Sirius Criticos's words, what made her worthy of his dark zodiac circle. I like the time period piece that she is in. It's simplistic, which would have been accurate to the early European settlers of America. And the cobwebs that she has on her just really add to the age of this ghost and set her apart as older, which I think was a really good minor detail that they did. So there is the Pilgrimess, the seventh dark zodiac. I'm still having fun with the series. I hope you are. I want to say thank you to my patrons as always. You can become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. And if you like my art, you can check out higher tiers and get stickers or prints or even an original custom piece sent to you. So make sure to follow the link in the description below. From my dark heart to yours, have a wonderful day. And please don't get accused of witchcraft so you don't die before my next video.